Welcome everyone to the webinar. Just to explain more about the seven steps to spiritual alchemy and what the seven steps actually are. So the seven steps to spiritual alchemy is a spiritual coaching and energy healing method that I've developed and have been working very successfully with my clients and even training practitioners to use this method to deepen the results with their clients. So the seven steps works on, it's, it's kind of modeled on a very old, famous psychological behavior model from Dr. Abraham Maslow, who developed the hierarchy of needs model, which I'll talk to you about as we go through this webinar. First of all, let me backtrack and introduce you to me. <laughs> My name is Anne-Marie. I'm the owner, founder of the Soul Awakening Academy. And the Soul Awakening Academy is a training academy that trains you to become a spiritual life coach and energy worker. And I train people to use the seven steps model to get deep, long lasting, radical change with their clients. So what is the seven steps? Well, the seven steps transmutes the energy, the negative beliefs, the uh, conditioning, the imprinting that we've had as children that we carry into our adult lives, which contains all the subconscious beliefs and behavior patterns that we, we have and we want to change, but we just don't know how to change them. Well, the seven steps allows you to see the story of your life and understand why you are the way you are. It helps you liberate yourself from a negative past and it helps you move beyond your perceived limitations. It will help you break free from past conditioning and it will help you free yourself from past shame, inner critic, that inner critical voice we have, the judgments we place upon ourselves, and it will help you move forward and realize your and live your full potential. It will absolutely help you understand your true worth, discover your hidden gifts and talents, realize your purpose and mission in this life, and it will help you take control of your life so you understand yourself on a much, much deeper level than you do now. It will allow you to understand that you can be loved unconditionally and that you have the ability to love others unconditionally too. It will help you see areas of your life in which you need to, to bring forgiveness, to release the past. Anything that's keeping you trapped in an, in an old conditioned state, it will help you see that and it will help you release that. So maybe you're one of the many that's sick of repeating the same patterns in relationships, in money, in success, social situations, friends, etc. And maybe you're tired of feeling isolated, abandoned, rejected, or unlovable. You may be ready to embrace the true meaning of fulfilling relationships and live that life. You may be ready to break free from things or thoughts or behaviors that are holding you back. And you may have a burning desire to express your gifts and talents in ways that make a difference in the world. And maybe you're longing to meet that intimate partner, that romantic soulmate with someone who matches and shares your values and visions in life. Or perhaps you're one of, of the, you know, the many as well that despite all the, the work you've done on yourself, all the personal growth you've done, you still have a sense that there's a barrier still holding you back that you just can't seem to break through on your own. Well, if you do identify with any of those, first of all, know that that's completely normal. There's nothing wrong with you and you're certainly not alone. Most of the people I coach and going through my own journey as well, I've had to rewrite the person who I was and literally recreate myself, allowing myself to tap into my true values, discover my true worth 
and and live that life live the life that i want on my terms so let me show you the seven steps model so this is the seven steps model and it's very similar to the work of abraham maslow so this is this is called the seven steps to spiritual alchemy now abraham maslow uh, said that all human beings have the the natural innate desire to grow to grow and evolve and he said that as as humans we are on a path we're on a quest to, to self-actualize to become full autonomous human beings who are in control of their life and destiny but to reach that spiritual actualization phase, or as I put it, the soul awakening phase, we have to go through and transmute certain um, areas of our life that can be holding us back. And we can get stuck in the lower layers of this model, the survival consciousness, the relationship consciousness, and the identity consciousness. We can get trapped in... Um, we can get trapped in the negativity or the limiting beliefs that we accumulate as we, as we kind of develop psychologically through these levels. And I'll explain why that is as we go on. So the first stage is the root chakra. So the root chakra governs our foundations. It governs how stable and secure we feel in life. So the psychological development age for this is between naught to seven even when you're in the womb what was happening to mum what was happening in your environment how was mum feeling as you were growing up as you were a toddler what were the messages you received what was happening in your early environment what were the family dynamics how did you grow up feeling were you safe were you secure were you nurtured were your deepest survival needs met or was the opposite of that true or somewhere in between? Because this is what's formed your early belief system about how supported and safe you feel in the world. Our foundations are so, so important. This is where we find our inner scripts. And when you do the work on the seven steps, we go through a process of finding your hidden inner scripts because those inner scripts are the thing that are keeping your pattern of relationship in play, your patterns with money in play, your pattern with success in play. And if that's not quite where you want it to be, then we need to find your inner script so you can rewrite it. And an inner script is basically formed from your deepest emotional wound. And once you discover your inner script, you can start to bring awareness, you can start to transmute that energy, and you can start to rewrite that script so you form an empowering script that you can live towards. Your, your brain needs to reset itself, which is absolutely possible for it to do with neuroplasticity. You just need to give it a direction, and that is where you get the opportunity to recreate your life. Everything is built upon our foundations, our relationships, how we project ourselves in the world, how we go out and get success and material gain, how we love if we speak our authentic truth and how we listen to the wisdom of our soul. That all comes down to how strong and supported we feel in life. If you were an architect and you were about to design and build your dream home, you would need to make sure that those foundations upon which you're to build your dream house is strong and secure. And that's exactly what we need to work on with your root chakra. Then we move up to the second step, which is the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is the seat of creativity. It's where you meld, meld, a blend or meld with another thing or another person, another being with the universe itself. This is where your abundance and flow and creative expression can come in. This is where we can also receive messages about our self-worth and we can carry shame in this sacral chakra. 
So here we want to work with the energy of the inner child. What messages did you receive as you were growing up? The psychological development age for this is seven to 14. This is where we are looking outward. We are belonging to certain groups in, in certain communities, maybe religions, schools, friends, pop culture, that kind of thing. We are searching for our identity within those groups. We're asking who do we belong to and where do I fit in? So this is where self-worth can really, really manifest itself. Body shame, addictions, really is about the, the inner child, how he or she was nurtured, becoming aware of that and then becoming that good parent to the self. Then we move up to the energy of the solar plexus, which is governs the stomach area. The development age for this is 14 to 21. So this is very much about our identity and how we project ourselves out into the world, how we are seen by others and how we want to be seen by others. It's not necessarily how we feel behind closed doors. That's the sacral chakra. This is how we put our best face on or not. <laughs> And we go out into the world and, and, you know, make a name for ourselves or we go after the material things that we want. Or we hide and we believe that we're worthless because of the messages we may have received and the beliefs we formed about ourselves. So here we work with the energy of confidence, power, your strengths, knowing what your values are. And are you in alignment to the true self? Then we work with the heart chakra, which is the bridge between the spiritual and the physical aspect. So all those lower three chakras we've just discussed represent the physical aspect of you. It's, it's how, as humans, we just go through this phase of um, our survival needs needing to be met, which form how secure we feel in the world. The sacral chakra is about bonding, self-worth, who do I belong to? Is it safe to be me? Do I have to kind of mend my, I can't say that word. Do I have to bend myself to fit in so our boundaries can get thwarted? Then we go to the solar plexus, which is how we project ourselves into the world. So the energy of the lower two chakras then forms that identity that we project out into the world. So if it's not been great and we've taken on certain limiting beliefs, then this is what you know we project, but we take that up to the heart center. And this is where we can cut off from our spiritual self or in Another way to put it is we cut off the, to the resonance of our ability to truly love. One of the hardest things that I've learned in life and one of the, the greatest things as well is how to love unconditionally. But first of all, you have to learn to love yourself unconditionally, which is so, it can be so, so painful to do because we have or you know the, the fairy tales in life tell us that we have to find another to make us feel whole and sometimes when we are on our own loneliness can really affect us loneliness has proved to be the you know the biggest killer um so stepping into the heart chakra will allow you to see where you can let more love into your life where you need to bring forgiveness into your life, a release the people, the things that are really holding you back, that you're holding on to, therefore you have the ability to let go. We then move up into the throat chakra, which is all about speaking your authentic truth. Pretty much 80% of the clients I coach have issues with their throat chakra, meaning they have formed belief, beliefs through certain circumstances when they were children, where they were told to not be seen, not be heard, to hide, that they weren't important, that other people were more important, so much so that they sabotage their own needs, they never fully express 
their needs, their wants or their desires through fear of upsetting other people. So they always come last. They're overlooked and they're not heard. So this will give you the ability to really communicate effectively with other people, to not be afraid anymore of speaking your truth, who you are, delivering your message with pure confidence, loving thyself, loving yourself unconditionally to know that it's okay to be you and it's more than okay to be heard. And what you have to say is important. Then we move up to the third eye chakra. So this really is waking you up to your own inner wisdom and, in, and inner knowledge. The third, the third eye chakra is all about you having clarity on your vision, being able to think in a way that um, allows you to see into the future so you can create it. Your mind acts like um, a GPS system. All it needs from you is a direction and it will work towards taking you there. Maybe right now you don't have clarity or you lack clarity or your thinking is negative. Well, that's creating your reality because that's what you're, you're focusing on. So this is about helping you visualize and step into that higher version of yourself. So your brain knows exactly what you want it to do, which is create this higher ideal life for yourself. Then we move into the crown chakra. So this does really open you up to universal source energy or however you like to call it. This opens you up to the, the I am presence within you that's always in you, whether you believe it or not. You are made of energy um, and the energy can be tuned in or tuned out. So this will help you tune in to the highest version of you we do a process called soul truth and it will allow you to tap into your inner wisdom so that you can use those senses to guide you forward in the direction that you want to go and help you make the, the highest and wisest choices for your life as you go forward. So I hope that explains the seven steps. Um, and I look forward to anyone who wants to come and share this work with me to learn more about this work. It's an absolute passion of mine and I am just so pleased to share it with you on workshops, retreats, practitioner training and online self-development.